What's up, people? Hey, I tried something new today. Yeah, I'm showing my face. Those who don't know me, I'm Tiban Raj. Yeah. Okay, so how's the um, coronavirus treating all of y'all? Are y'all pumped? Are y'all good? Do y'all have goals? Have y'all set your goals? Are y'all learning anything from my courses and are y'all practicing it the most importantly? So, uh, yeah, so just yesterday I've sent a few of them. Um, I've recommended a few of them to some options training, which they actually uh, looked at it and saw it. And they were pretty impressed with it, my friends. And whoever who wants to look at it, I mean, it's just technically a sharing session from my mentor. Okay, if you want to opt for it, you can go for it. It's just an um, alternative um, investment scheme that I would say. I've tried it personally and I see money coming in. So it's not something that you have to do. It all depends on your risk appetite. Okay, guys. So this is what I'm going to do. I will try it out first by myself and I will let you all know whether is it legit, is there any scam with it and all by my expense. And I will tell it out to you all. So is that good? I'll be very open to you all. Is that good? Is that good? Okay, guys. Let's move on to this year's, uh, this year's isms, to this particular um, course where perfect practice makes perfect performance. What does that mean? Technically, it's just a normal sentence which says practice makes perfect. Okay. So here again, the MFM, Millennials Financial Management, ready to serve you guys. Okay. So... Um, how many of y'all do remember that my um, previous um, previous courses and whoever has not watched, please do go and watch, guys. Please go and watch. Okay, you will learn definitely. I promise you, you will learn something new which you can implement it every day, and you will see improvements in your particular financial um, position. Okay, so first thing that I thought y'all was manage like the five percent. So I'm sure all of you all know what is this, whoever has been following and watching. So this is a mental direction. You have already setting your mental direction that you want to be like the 5% of the world. And those of you who have not watched, please, please go and watch. Okay. Second, drop a millionaire investor strategy. So this is where I was teaching you all regarding the apportionment, which is 50% for needs, 20% savings and debt repayment, 20% investing and 10% for once and follow this particular um, particular uh, method in order. So needs, savings, investing and once if you have extra money. Okay. And now we are going to go into the most important part, which is implementation, ladies and gentlemen, implementation, which is the hardest, which is the hardest for most people. Okay. Put your thoughts through your actions. And this is where we are going to do. Come on, all of us take out our own book and paper this is what i'm doing but yeah it looks uh weird in zoom but anyhow yeah take down your book and paper paper and pencil whatever take it down right now and we will do it together i will show you step by step and this is the process you can go and meet any financial advisors out there they will pay you to teach you this but let me tell you i'm doing it for free because all i want to do is just the blessings to other people and guys please do share this around to your friends and family you might not be affected by it because you might know you might know but to your surprise there are many people out there who are not aware of this particular thing okay i really was talking um interestingly i really was talking to one of my insurance um cousin brother so you're telling me these doctors these um dentists most of them they actually don't know what is finance you know, they get the salary, they spend it, and they probably, if he goes and asks them, he'll just put it in insurance. They don't know the terms behind it and how are they doing, why are they doing it. And let me tell you guys, I'm learning, I, I, I'm speaking out of experience. Many of them out there don't know. Please do, just be a blessing. Share it out to them. It's nothing. Just share it out to them. All you can do is provide your input to them. Okay, guys? So now, moving back to the topic. Implementation. Okay, so the first thing I would like to teach you all is the simple ABC formula. Okay, this is technically the whole formula of implementing which you can be done every single month. First thing we do is called assessment. Okay, what I want you all to do is now write down your income and your earnings. Write down 
how much of salary you're earning if you're owning a business. Write down your income, okay? Whatever money coming in, write it down. Next, write down your monthly expenses. It means your fixed expenses, averagely every month for your petrol, for your traveling, for your touch and go, for your rental, if some of y'all are paying, okay? If some of y'all have your cars, your higher purchase payments, write it all down, okay? Write it all down. I mean, I'm not, I'm not rushing you. Do it at your time, but just write this down. So first thing is write your income, your expenses. So now actually when you look at it, you actually have a clear picture of your income and your expenses. And from the expenses, I want you all to break down and see which are your needs, which are your savings, which are your debt repayment, and which are your investing or wants. Separate everything out. If you don't have investing and savings, leave that out first because that's where we are going to get to the next stage. So first identify your needs, your debt repayment, and your wants. And from here, calculate and see, does it fall under the percentage that I said? This percentage, which is 50% needs. Make sure and try to, to carve out and see your expenses are 50% is for needs, okay? And once is the last and if you see you're spending your once before you're investing and savings you got to remember your next month you have to remove that once okay and put your debt repayment make sure it is 20 percent okay you all understand any any questions halfway through you all you all feel just type it out in the comment box i will explain it to you all. okay so once you do this this gives you a clarity of your cash flow Okay, so from this, this particular um, chart or whatever um, drawings that you have done, your income and your expenses and bringing now to each expenses, your needs and all, you actually can identify, this main, main, main assessment is to identify your risk tolerance. And why is this risk tolerance very important, ladies and gentlemen? This depends on what type of investment can you go into. And what type of funds is it available for you to go into? Okay. So the first aim always is to pay down or reduce your debt. Okay. So your money, if, if, you, if your income is low, you, your 50% is for needs, goes into your rip, rip, uh, debt repayment, 20%, together with savings, and 20% investing. And if, don't worry, if you don't have the money now for investing, don't worry, guys close your debt, that itself will give you a financial uh, freedom in the long term. Okay? We go step by step. Don't worry. And those of you all who are earning a lot, you will definitely have, skip that one. Okay? Skip that one first. Put it into your debt repayment. Pay it off. I mean, don't pay it off. Take your time, but make sure you have money to pay your debt. And at this point of time, with your clear picture, you can see and you're able to assess what type of risk you want to enter in, okay? High risk um, are like shares if you want to trade, you know, like options, you want to trade, trading, or even more riskier, you want to put it in um, like overseas um, funds, overseas uh, real estate. So that are risk, high risk. Medium risk are like ETFs. Um, exchange traded funds where like Unitrust, public mutual insurance, they have all these savings plan. And low risk, of course, is keep it in your bed or you're going to put in your FD. There are risk, like now the government has reduced 0 0.5 basis. That means your if your um, FD is actually on a floating rate, it's reducing for you. Okay. So yeah, and first step assessment, which is A. Next, B is called budgeting. So ladies and gentlemen, what do we do at this stage? This particular stage, first thing is the excess money we have, we're going to put into savings. And savings is mostly your FD, okay? Or under your bed. Because no matter where you put these two, I, I will cover in another uh, topic, one of these days regarding FD, okay? Inflation will definitely eat you up. But it's safe, that means it's liquid. You can take it out at any time, any emergency, you can take it out. And this is very important before you start investing. And now write down, I want, I want you all to write down, okay? Define your goals and priorities. What, what, what is your purpose of investing? Are you looking at investing for long term, for short term, for your house renovation, for your marriage, you know, to buy a car? Put a goal. Because if you don't have a goal for your investing, 
you wouldn't reach it. You wouldn't even aim for it. Okay, without an investing plan, you might as well be setting your money on fire. Some wise person said, "Don't ask me who, guys. I don't know." Okay, but it makes a lot of sense. You need to shoot your bullet right. Okay, understanding the basics. So once you already know your risk appetite, high risk or low risk, your budgeting process now, you already know amount of fun that you're supposed to put. So just say this month you have three thousand ringgit to invest. You have enough money, three thousand ringgit to invest. So three thousand ringgit, you're going to put it down and split it out budgeting properly into. How much you're going to put into high risk into shares, okay? How much you're going to put into mid into Unitrust public mutual? How much you're going to put into FD? Okay, so go by percentage will be best. It's just all this under investing already. So investing compromise twenty percent, correct? So FD you already putting um twenty percent earlier together with debt repayment. So the rest we are going to put it from this twenty percent. We are going to split into percentage again to see how much, because at the end of the day is diversification. We cannot put all in one bucket. We have to diversify, guys. Diversify. Say it together with me. Diversify. So once you put it in diversification, you have to put percentage. How much is this into shares? How much are you going to play in uh, medium risk? How much are you going to play in high risk? So put the strategy down. Write it down. Together with your goals, okay, ladies and gentlemen. And once you get that, what do you do next? What do you do next, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, you got it right. Put it to action. Commitment. You got to stick to your investment plan no matter what. And to see are you achieving your goals, you got to track your net worth. You got to calculate. You see. Each time you put in shares, see how much is your return on investment. All this I will cover. And ladies and gentlemen, my job, let me be clear, my job currently, as you said, understanding the basics under budgeting, that is what I will do. I will be giving you all um, different investment platforms, the pros and cons. And it's up to you to look at your risk um, appetite and go into these particular uh, investments. Okay. So any questions you have, you can ask me, and I'll be briefing you all on general items like public mutual, like insurance, um, like on shares, like on REITs. So I will get the experts to come and brief you all. Do you all want that? If you all want that, please, please, please do share and also comment you want. Okay, guys. So simple assessment. You assess every month. You can do this. Okay, even if you don't have money to, to to invest right now, start doing this. Write down your budget to understand your cash flow. Love your money, guys. Love your money. Like how if you have a cat or dog, you will look at it every day. Nurture it. Yes, guys. Nurture your money. Okay. Assess it. Do a budgeting and commit to it, which many people fail. So take that step and commit to it. And yeah, I'm done for this particular um, course. All you have to do is practice makes perfect. Okay, like I always say, be phenomenal or be forgotten, guys. Remember this in your brains, in your mind. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. All we have to do is outrageous goals plus baby steps. These steps of writing down, of having a five percent mindset, okay, of knowing this financial knowledge, is the recipe to success. Slowly but surely, we will all grow together and reach there at one point of time. And guys, this was a very interesting um slide that I can see from here. I I took it from Instagram. So the levels of financial freedom, okay. So level one is solvency. Where your debt or your living expenses equals your income, so it's exactly the same. So this way, I told you, you have to try to close your debt, right? So the next stage is stability. Your living expenses equals your income plus emergency fund. You see, your debt has been removed. I mean, your debt has been removed. And third level, you go to debt freedom, where free of debt plus start investing. So that means you have more money now. Okay, because level two you're already free from debt. Level three you have enough money to invest. Level four is where you have investment cash equals to survival expenses. 
your investment cash guys let me tell you this is where we all want to get okay slowly but baby steps your investment cash will support your needs and your investment cash level five is independence where your investment cash where i have to put like uh wd-40 on my tongue investment cash equals your living cost and abundance is where your investment cash can get you anything you want anything you want guys anything you want let's follow the steps closely and we will get there sky is your limit ciao guys see you in the next uh, course bye